I'm Barbara Ganley, and this is my amazing story. Um, when I was teaching, I don't know if you can see way in the distance, but that's Middlebury College, way down there, right in front of the mountain. Uh, I taught all my classes openly on the web, and so I expected lots of interesting and unexpected things to happen to us. But I didn't ever expect a particular personal result from one of my teaching forays, but it happened. And that is that um, we had a hundred word story assignment in one of my creative writing classes. And I always wrote with my students, you know, I wrote my things right on the course blog the way they did. And, the, the, and we each took turns with the, um, creating the prompt. And one kid said, let's write about clothes. So I wrote a little piece about a dress I had and loved in eighth grade and wore to in an eighth grade dance. And it turned out to be this awful, terrible, one of those nightmare eighth grade experiences. And I wrote this underword piece about it. And I mentioned names. I put down the names of the kids who were involved in this moment. And a couple of days later, I got an email. And it was one of these guys on this, who had been in this story. And he said, you know, I don't really remember you. <coughs> and I don't remember the incident. But I'm really, really sorry that that happened. And was apologizing 40 years later for something that he didn't even remember happening. And I thought, this to me is one of those moments where you realize that what you say on the web can have a real effect. It's not just that you'll be found and your, your private information will be cast about in the wind, but that you will say something that has something to do with someone else and they will be moved enough to reply to you and, and get on the course blog. Well, this sent my students into just fits of, well, laughter for one, that I was, I was found out by somebody from my past. But they were delighted that the thought of, of that kind of connection that you could, you could have with somebody even 40 years down the road and somebody didn't even remember you. So that's, well, that's really cool too, is that, that he, it turned out, not only did he make this contact and say, I'm very, very sorry, but he said, well, if you'd be interested in, in what I'm doing these days, I take um, old bits of trash, you know, things that people throw away, you know, the, 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 the cast-offs of metal pieces and old furniture and stuff, and I recreate new furniture, and I'd love to have you come visit, and here's my website. So I've discovered him now and love his stuff, and he's this great artist making funky, cool things that I never, ever would have known about because there's so much on the web. How do you even find these things? But it's because of this little moment of him making contact with me. So from what you remember him in eighth grade, would you have pegged him to become an artist? No, no, no. He was like the football stud. You know, he was like the cool guy who all the girls liked. And I actually had a crush on this why, you know, I too liked this silly boy. Um, and he, you know, he was just gonna go and play football somewhere someday and I, you know, I didn't even know him after eighth grade. That's why he didn't even remember me. I was only that, there in that class for one year. So um, I, I had no idea that he would end up being this totally cool guy. 